All right, let's try this again. A friend reminded me that I need to kneecap them with my gun, and then I need to sh I need to knifey knife knife them. I need to remember that, especially for this many freaking zombies. Are you kidding my ass? I no 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 no. Okay, hold on, hold on a second, hold on a momento. Hold on, just like one little sacoon. Okay, I thought it was at the beginning again. Okay, this is the village. Okay, never mind. All right, let's go. Okay, so there they are. You can binoculars. Look around. Maybe it's actually best to actually be more mindful of where they're at. Hmm. Except, I still plan to go around this way, and once I start attacking things, it doesn't seem to really matter where they're at, does it? Doesn't seem to. So kneecap them first. Okay. I'm gonna start. Is it a good idea to start with this woman over here and alert them all to where I am? I don't know if that's a good idea, but the thing is, is that... I feel like it's gonna be... Worse... Oof, if I started elsewhere. Quick turn! Quick turn! Quick turn to dirty... Where? Okay, uh... Hello! Hi! Hello! Oh, he's act he actually died. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot better. Thank you. Thank you, friend of mine. You know who you are. Oy. This is so fucking easier. I wish I remembered this initially. Oy. <laughs> oh, hi! Hello! Ow! Jesus, fuck. I am backed up against a wall, that's fun. Alright, so... Uh, reload, please! Did I just hear some behind me? Did I just hear some behind me or not? Okay, no, they do seem to mostly be here. Okay, uh... Tab. Let's get... Let's use this, because... Ow. Nice. I just, that was the wrong kneecap, but... Wait, let's get Axe, motherfucker, because fuck you, dude. Okay, I, I was... Not a kneecap, okay. More careful! Yeah, he's definitely a zombie. Level of, okay. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Losing my form a bit. Let's run! Thankfully, this is a proper zombie game where they move slow, or else I'd be a dead fucking boy right now. Okay. Jesus, she is hardy. There we go. <laughs> okay, thankfully those old men just insta-die. Oh, shit. Well, that was fun. Well, that's fun. Every time you kick them, their skull explodes, because that's totally realistic and fun. It is fun! I don't know about realistic, though, that's for sure. Okay. Oh, hi! I didn't know you were fucking here! Okay. Whew! Okay. Are they gonna, like, keep coming at me regardless? I probably should keep moving, huh? Is he gonna die? Nope. Oh, come on, come on, come on, dude! Come on, me! Thank god I dodged that somehow! Or 
Okay. Frickin' knife him. Thank you, me. Okay. Now, a friend of mine told me I need to look for a house with a shotgun and a grenade in it, because that sounds like a lovely pair of things to have right now. I have a feeling they're gonna keep coming for a while. We're got oh, maybe not? Uh, what's happening? What's happening here? Lord Sutler. Huh. Is this drawing them away from me? Did I just have to survive for a while? I guess so. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Well, at least it's somewhere where they aren't... Where they aren't trying to kill me. But that is a bit weird. Again, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Yeah. Something's happened to the people yep. here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Voice acting isn't wonderful, but it's, at least it's not Resident Evil 1 and 2 level, because the originals, because I've, I've seen some speedruns of that, and the voice acting I did here, you know, it's a speedrun, not much, but was a bit ridiculous. Okay, so... Let's explore the f out of this village this uh, now, cause I'd love me some healing items and to find me that freaking shotgun and grenade. I wonder where they're all going to and what called them into that building, and what those doors with those ominous symbols are. Unpleasant odor coming from the kettle. Sure doesn't smell like a refreshing drink to me. Oh boy. I wonder if that means it's, like, spoiled whatever's in there, and it's been, like... And so these people haven't been normal for a very long time, and probably haven't had to eat regular... Like, re like regular people for a long time. Okay, it's still ten, so we're good here. Uh, oh, hello! Oh, oh, the grenade! This might be the house, unless the shotgun is elsewhere. It looks like you don't even have to face all the enemies, you just have to survive for a certain amount of time. There's a barrel here, looks like it can be broken. Oh yeah, um, the rails can be broken too, eh? Good to know. More PGAs. Although I haven't had a reason to... I haven't had a place to shop yet. I wonder if they're... Or I wonder what you use PTAs for. What a sinister looking fellow, yes. With the hood and everything. Alright, can I actually- yeah, I can jump out of probably any window, which is probably a really good thing. For some- okay, I was scared that there was more zombies for a second. But no, it's just a chicken. Something seems real wrong with that chicken, though. That was not a chicken noise. In my- as far as I know, though, maybe it's just... You know, who knows. But yeah, chicken got spoopled. For two, for a 2004 game, the detail level is jaw-dropping. Now, granted, this is the Ultimate HD Edition, though I don't think it changes much more than graphics fidelity, like the, the resolution of the game and stuff. Maybe some textures. I don't know what all it changes, but I don't think it changes the AI very much. This game is really, really immersive and realistic for the year it came out. Like... Kudos to the devs, because this is really, really good for, I think, 2005? This game came out? Ah, yellow herb. What do these do, eh? Yellow herb. Examine. Mixing it with a green herb will increase your maximum health. Interesting, okay. Hmm. Let me just make sure I'm recording real quick still. Yep, checks out. 
I am still recording, which is all lovely and stuff. Very nice. Okay, I'm not gonna touch that building. I don't think this is the same building uh, that everyone just went into, although I think it might be. But I'm not gonna touch those doors until I've explored the ever-living crap out of this place. Now that there's no... hopefully no more danger. Push. Oh, it looks like you can bar yourself into a house. Oh man, I just kind of stood out in the open and shoot shot things. But it looks like there's a lot you can do to help yourself survive. Good to know. There's a lot you can do. A lot of tactics you can do rather than just shoot and run. That's what I was doing. Okay, so next time running into a building in a place like this might be a good idea. I could see myself doing other playthroughs of games like this and uh, trying to just play better because I really love seeing my skills improve in a game. There are various small items here. Nothing useful, though. It really looks like there's a lot I could have done inside buildings to help survive. If there's a bunch of zombies inside, I could have jumped out a window. If there's a bunch of zombies outside, I could have done that. Um, can I actually pull... Did I just lock myself out? Basically? Unless... Okay, good. Because there's no reason to do this right now. I just wanted to make sure like, I could push it in front of the door, which would be helpful, certainly, if there were a bunch of zombies at that door. Um, so, good to know. There's the shotgun! Oh! I think a holy sound is pretty darn uh, needed here. Oh, there's another one there. Another grenade. Not sure if uh, my friend remembered that there was a second grenade chilling in that other house. Yes, please, and thank you very much. <sighs> More... Oh, yep, shotgun shells, thank you. Um, I think I'm going to still keep my pistol around, because, well, if you look, I've still got 50 handgun ammo knocking around. The grenades and the shotgun are going to be for, like, when I'm really, really, really in deep shit. That's what I'm going to use that for. So, those things for, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mom, it's okay. The cat's not going to die or anything. Don't worry about it. Alrighty. So. Exploring more buildings. Are there chickens in here, or did I just spook chickens outside that I didn't see? I guess that's what I did. Poor cow. Some kind of liquid is dripping off the table. That's not fun. That's not... I wonder what the heck that is. Is that, like, flesh or something in there? That's not fun. Like, what? what is that stuff? Because apparently... Unpleasant smells. I wonder what those things are supposed to be. Okay, so... Next time, think about doing stuff like barricading yourself in buildings or rooms. Or jumping out windows. Instead of just standing out in the open and running and shooting and stabbing. There's probably a lot better I could do. And it'll also conserve resources like ammo. However, I still definitely seem to have plenty of handgun ammo, so maybe that was an okay way of dealing with it anyway. So, yeah. Next time, just, I will remember, hopefully. There's a dirty bed here. It definitely se it definitely seems to be dirty. Seem it appears that the stains are a person's blood. Well, that's, that's lovely. I totally needed to uh, read that detail. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty darn... Pretty darn, um, clear that that's probably blood just looking at it, but, ugh. Ugh. How exactly did that occur? Do I even want to know? I don't think so. Did someone get killed on there? Did all these people get killed and now they're zombies, or did they bleed to death and now they're I don't know, man. I wonder what that blood is supposed to mean, and I wonder how much of these details are actually supposed to be you know, hints toward what what all happened here. I'm sure that all of them are. Also, Rip, what in God's name indeed. If only he'd come with me. Yep, because I'm alive. He ain't. 
I had the I had the I had the wherewithal to defend myself, so I could have saved him too, I bet, but nope. Characters like those police officers always die real quick in, in horror scenarios, I've noticed. I've noticed that's a very common thing in these kinds of stories. Well, let me guess. The bed is heavily stained. It seems if it's, as if no one slept in it for quite some time. Yeah, it looks like all the people here are just mindlessly wandering around. They don't seem to need to eat or sleep anymore. Um, unless what they're eating is, is whatever foul shit is in here. But no, there's flies around this. I highly doubt. I highly, highly doubt they're eating anymore. Like, they don't seem to need to eat anymore. Or sleep. They just kind of bumble around and do normal villager stuff. I was, I, that one woman was doing stuff with hay or something. One was wheelbarrowing around. They were doing their normal stuff, but they weren't sleeping. They weren't eating. Very weird, man. I wonder how much thought was put into what exactly happened here, and how many of these details are relevant to what the disease is, and what happened, and etc. How many are just kind of there? I, I, yeah, I don't know, man. I wonder if nothing is just kind of there, and and all of it is actually hinting towards everything that happened here, which I would I would hope the game did that specifically. Um, I'm starting to actually really get into this scenario, and you know, I probably I'm really glad that I got turned on to the series because I mean. I've heard the story's been pra praised before, and I definitely understand why now. There's a lot of nuance in this story already. There's a lot of... Immer I, always, I also always love immersive environment um, in gaming. Uh, just It really kind of takes you there. This one definitely does. Yeah, so much handgun ammo. Like It is fine that I used as much as I did, because, yeah. Now, what I'd love to find, if I can, somewhere in here is green herbs. Also, I have to see if I can kill this chicken. Okay, I might have to use a bullet on it, and I'd rather not. So, let's not do that. Because who knows, I might end up strapped for bullets anyway at one point or another. Ah, red herb. But I need green herbs for both the yellow and the reds to, yellows and the reds to mean anything. I haven't found any yet, and I used my last green herb getting health, so... All I know is that, okay, apparently in these scenarios, like, I'm just kind of reviewing this in order to kind of keep it in my brain. Apparently, I don't know if how much of the game does this exact thing, but, um, in that scenario it seemed like it wasn't a matter of killing all the enemies, and those are the kinds of games I'm used to. You kill all the enemies, and then you can move on to the next area. That's, that's the formula I'm used to, and that's a pretty standard formula for many games. But, because it's a survival horror, I'm guessing you really just need to survive the onslaught, and it happens for a certain amount of time, maybe? And then they they all go away? I, I don't know. But it seems like barricading myself in a house would have definitely uh, helped me to hopefully save a lot of health. By the way, I didn't read what, the, what this was here. The water is awfully dirty. No way I'm drinking this. Yeah, it seems, it's weird, it seems like they keep the village in disarray, but they still seem to kind of be mindlessly going about their jobs, and then occasionally just, you know, doing shit like this, Ugh. Um, and then not really eating or sleeping or anything. Hello there, cow. Poor cow. Alrighty, um... Uh, okay, I feel like I've mostly gotten everything, but I really feel like if I'm finding a bunch of yellow and red herbs, maybe there is a green herb chilling, or several even, green herbs chilling around here somewhere. Oh, what's up here? Interesting. Hello. Nice little outlook here. Probably gonna, could have been a good place to defend myself in here, too. More shotgun shells. Okay, uh... Where haven't I been here? By the way, this place is fleshed out as a very 
proper looking entire village. Freaking amazing, man. I always love when games really detail out their worlds and they just look right, they look immersive, they look like it could be a whole place people live in with everything they would need. With every everything that would make sense, you know, to be in a place where people live. Um, you know, a, a proper small village looking place. Either way, it looks like these people are stuck in medieval times, which is really strange if I think about that. Because, well, this is clearly modern times. Dude's got a jacket and a gun, and definitely modern. You know, there was a car earlier. I really wonder if this place is just, you know, so rural that they really are stuck in this age, or something with the virus caused them to do... to to be, behave as if... Because look at this. Look at the, the buildings. Look at the way they live. This is like... This is like medieval type of buildings and everything. I may be reading too much into it. But anyway. Um, I think they, it might just be an extremely rural town. That might just be the whole... The whole thing. And I'm not really missing anything there. <sighs> I really want to see if I can find a green herb first. Wait. Did I close that door, or did I just not come in here? Cause I don't think I've been closing doors. I... yeah, I... I don't know. Have I been in here? Let's see. Have I been in here? I feel like I might have been in this house. I feel like I may have been in here. Like, this specific house with this specific layout. I wonder if there are any houses with, like... I'm pretty darn sure I have been in here and everything. See, and there's that... that... that same... the thing the type I don't get along with. Isn't that the same dude that was in the another place in another house? That's that's a bit spoopy. Unless it's wait, hold on. Is this the same house that I first got into? I think it was. No, um, I remember that there was a different house that had one of those on the bottom floor. I do believe, and it's the same person. I wonder if it's some kind of cult. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. That, you know, so I think church bells was what brought them, or something came to that, what brought them into the church. Okay, it looks like, it looks like the doors closed themselves, and I didn't really realize that. I'm pretty sure I'm just going into the exact same place I just left. Wait, was, oh, well, um, no, okay. This is just completely grimed over portrait, okay. I was like, was this the one I saw before? No. Um, I thought it might have been a completely new one, too, but it seems to not be a... A portrait of that guy. Either way, peeps, I apologize for being so wandery, but I just want to make sure I'm thorough about this because I'd really love to find green herbs in here, though there just might not be any, but I'd really love to find one at least. Um, I'd like to find like three, ideally, so that I could use one and then mix two with the other two types, and then go ahead and drink the max health one, too. Um, however, I don't think with as much of this place as I've explored that I'm going to have the luxury of finding three of them, if even one. Wait, what? Okay. This is a new area. Okay. Uh, all right. I really want to thoroughly explore this place. Okay, so that leads to a new area. Have I been in here? What's this? Alert order. Recently, there has been information about a United States government agent. Agent information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Yeah, that's me. That's a bit scary. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those, oh, um, the print, the um. The, the president's daughter. Okay. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. So there's her location. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay here until further, mo further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. 
I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men stay alert. Hmm. Very, hmm. The hell is going on? And why are these people so damn murderous? And why don't they seem to eat or sleep anymore? Like, what the fuck? Anyway. I'm guessing they're all infected with the virus, but seem to have some kind of semblance? Of... Hmm. Because, like, someone intelligent enough to write that must have wrote that. But then, they don't seem intelligent. They seem very zombie-like. At least some of them do. Man, what the heck? Okay. None of them have really... Okay, so, clearly they they do not speak English. Okay, whoever wrote that either did or wrote that in whatever language they, they speak. And, you know, <laughs> it uh, just happened to... Whew. Just happened to, you know, be translated to English for, you know, our benefit. Because, yeah, that's a bit spooky. I think this... No, I've been here. I've been here. Guaranteed I've been here. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Have I been in this bedroom? though? Yes, I have. Because that's a broken crate. And that is the first bloody bed I found. I, I don't think I'm going to find a green herb in here unless I'm just not... Um... Wait, hold on. Have I checked? I don't think so. Okay, nothing useful, but... There are several small items here. Nothing useful, though. Alright, well... Whoa, what's up there? Why is it... Hmm, there's a sparkly thing up there. Do I have to do some kind of weird roof jumpy thing, or is there a way to get on top of that roof? Because that's a sparkly thing on that roof there. Okay. Looks like... Okay, I, I just wanted to make sure I couldn't get out on the roof like that. It looks like, um, instead, I come back down here. Okay, so, I could have used these houses, and they could have been an invaluable tool to not take as much damage as I did. So I have to remember that. And also not use up a bunch of ammo. Even though I'm fine on ammo, but, yeah. I probably won't be for long. Because I know the game will get more brutal with its encounters. I am 100% certain of that. Okay, um, okay, there was a sparkly thing on the freaking roof of this place. How the hell do I get there? Oh, 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 I just jumped off the, I just jumped out the wrong window. That's what I did. I just jumped out the wrong window. That's all that happened. Okay. You got the spinel? It looks like a gem. Interesting. Um, is it like some kind of key item? What does it look like? Why is it in my inventory? Uh, keys and treasures? It's probably one of those, right? Yeah. What is it? Examine. Spinel. Although small in size, it appears to have some value. Yes, it's very shiny. Alright, so I, I'm guessing it's just a collectible. For, you know, people that like to collect in video game and are and completionists. Okay, so do I really try to make sure I'm thorough about this place? Even though it's really confusing and mazy and I kind of don't really want to have y'all see me just trudge around this village. And probably revisit a bunch of the same places again. Or do I just trudge on? I, I'm a little bit more inclined question. Is there a quick save? Nah. Of course there is. Of course there isn't. There's there's not even regular any anytime saves. Of course there isn't quick saves. Um, but there is a save... Hold on. Is there a save at the beginning of each area? There's a save in there, and I don't seem to immediately be in danger, though... Hold on. Is this what I think it is? Yeah, like... That's the place I do believe they all went into, so I'm not gonna fucking touch that door. I'm not gonna fucking touch it yet. So, the question remains... Wait, I, I think I haven't been in this building. 
Let's make sure I haven't been in this building. Let's see if I can even get in this building. Can I get in here? Mm, I think... No? It looks like that's actually cordoned off. Though, I don't know. They definitely fleshed out the inside of the place. I don't know. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it. Is, is there a way to, like, get through one of the windows? Or is it just a boarded-off building that I can't really get into? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in there. It looks like it's just an empty building. Okay, so I won't see if I can get in there anymore. Um, I'm gonna start paying more attention to all the buildings that are here. There just there might just not be a green herb, or it might be in a place that... Okay, I have looked in this building. I'm gonna try to be more careful. Okay, I've looked in this building. Think. Have I been there? Yes, I have. That that's 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 the window I jumped out of. Have I been in here? I don't know. Let's see if there's an entrance. If there ain't one, there ain't one. That's okay. Yes, I've been in that building because I jumped out of that window. All right. Uh, I have been in here. I do believe because yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, I've been. In there, have I been in here? Have I been in this place? Uh, well, no, but there doesn't seem to be anything in there. Because I don't remember being in an, an empty side building like this. Um, but it is empty. Uh, okay, I've been in there. That's where the poster was. The spoopy, spoopy, spoopy document about me. That I don't know how they found out I was even coming here, but hey... That's a bit scary if these people that don't seem to really function properly can 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 glean something like that somehow. Or is it just like specific people that actually are like still human? I don't know, man. It's weird. This doesn't make any sense. It's a whole scenario. I hope the game doesn't remain vague about all this stuff and reveals why these people are like this, and why, and what the village is doing, and how come they don't eat, and they don't sleep, and why they just seem to bumble around doing normal villager things, but then pile into that church all of a sudden sometimes, and just murder cops, and basically anyone who just kind of wanders in. Hmm. I don't think I've been up here. I do not think I've been up here. I have not been up here. Loot! Grenade! Flash grenade. For stunning and mini 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 as I'd imagine. Can I go through this though? I cannot. Must be barred from the other side. Now, I don't want to touch that church door, but it's probably a good idea to make sure I can go through there. But I bet I can't, and I have to go through that place that I've already been to. I bet. So I'm just gonna hinge on that bet, or hinge on being able to GTFO, um, after I check these buildings over here. Oh, I, I saw an action. I saw... Aha! <laughs> now do I use it now just to have max health? Do save points heal you? I don't think they do. But I'm gonna literally just keep the herb around. I'm not gonna combine it with anything yet. I'm gonna see if I can get to that save point first. Alright, here's what I'll do. I don't know if I've gotten everything here, but I have explored a lot. I say as I just like, okay, I think I've been in this building. I feel like I've been in here, but I just want to make 100% certain I, I have been in here. Like, guaranteed I remember this freaking building. Okay. I've been in there. I'm not going to check that one again. Alright, so, let's look in here, shall we? I bet, yep, locked and won't open. Some kind of symbol on the door. Yep, I've seen it on other doors, too, I think. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, looks like all we really can do that I'm aware of right now, other than really try to be more thorough, I don't think there's anything else that I haven't missed, but 
I have been wrong about such before, and I, I don't really trust my being thorough about exploring skills sometimes, but sometimes I am thorough about it, so I will decide to trust them for the meantime. Um, especially because, you know, the more I trust things like that, a lot of times the more they really actually end up being useful in the future anyway. It's like you immediately trust them and then your body just decides, your mind just decides to be a bit better about it because you trust the instinct, and, you know, instead of just deciding it's gonna fuck up. It's weird, it's interesting, but it's a nice little thing. Now, what is that blue thing? Okay, I want to just shimmy on here, like, I'm not, you know, even here. It's weird, because I think normal people might have noticed me, too, but they're not noticing me. So, question, yeah, I do, okay, I did not, all right, so, I just really wonder if I should use the green herb just as it is. Well, I would rather, but I'm not going to, because I don't have much resources. If I could get through the, through whatever's gonna come without doing that, without using up that green herb, I will do so. So, yeah. What are those blue symbols? It seems like some kind of religious symbol. Also, I don't enjoy this music. I do... Because I like ambient stuff, but this music is very om ominous at the moment. I think I'm way too quick to say I don't like something. And even if you don't like something, you can still accept it. And the negative feelings literally dissipate. It's just something that you need to work at. But regardless... Man, it stinks. Like, that, that, is, that doesn't seem right. What the fuck is in there? Ugh. Um... That seems like some kind of bodies in there. Like, there's fucking maggots swimming in that. I'm literally shaking. Ew. Okay. Well, do I start a fight? Because I think if I get close enough to this guy... I think if I get close enough to this motherfucker... Yeah. Kneecap your wheels and stab it! Hello! I s ah, thank gosh. Hello? Game! Okay. Kneecap your ass. Okay, he's actually dead. I think. Unless he's gonna pop up again. Yeah, okay. It looks like you, you don't... Alright, kneecap. Is he actually gonna get back up? Yeah, they keep acting like they're dead. Okay. I probably could have not wasted that bullet, but it's just one bullet. It's weird, you get close enough to them and they just attack. But otherwise they don't seem to notice. They seem to be just in this haze working. Just like they're going about their normal jobs. But then who wrote? I don't think any of these villagers could have written that report about me. So who the fuck wrote that? Unless they could have. I don't know, man. It's weird. Or unless they're just a lot more intelligent than they appear to be. To me. They seem very zombie-like. Of course. Um, they seem very zombie-like to me. I'm, I'm pretty convinced. They, they just seem to mindlessly be going about tasks that don't even do anything. Like, they're, they're just scooping hay over and over again. This is not normal, you know? I don't think they're intelligent enough to write something like that, though I, I may be wrong. Hi! Hello. Hi lo. Hi lo there, friendo. How would you like to die this day? Come on, get up. Did I hear something else besides that guy? Give me the shotgun shoes. 
I heard another... Okay, I heard... I'm hearing... I'm hearing someone... Oh! I'm hearing that guy coming out to kill my ass. Hold on, I've got to get my cat out in front of my monitor. Kitty, you're in my way, buddy. On the floor with you. Oh. Alright. Alright, get up. Get up so I can stab you. Twice! There we go. Okay, who else? Wait, hold on. I just realized. They kind of like... They kind of just... They kind of just disintegrate into goo, complete with a gross sound effect. Is that part of the disease, or is that just the way the game clears the enemies from you? And they do it in an especially gross way because it's a horror game. I have a feeling with the amount of detail in this game, it's more the former. Which just spooks me more, but you know, it's a horror game, so it's supposed to, I'd imagine. Alright, motherfucker, let's kill you too. <laughs> There we go. Got a lot of PGAs that I have not been using. I don't know if I'm actually... I don't know if they're just a collectible at this point. They might be, or I might be able to buy something from somewhere. I don't think I... I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Let's just kind of... I don't know why I was... I guess I, I was just kind of looking for the view. That's why I did that. Uh, there is a box down there. Is there anything else up here? I might need to be mindful of that. There is something down there that I missed picking up. So, let's go ahead. Oh! Oh! You can knock down ladders. Good good to know. Thankfully, I haven't been taking any damage, which feels good, man. You can also raise that back up. Once again, I have a lot more tactics at my disposal than I've been using to help against the uh, Zombles. Like, it's very clear if those things are designed to help you stave off zombie attacks and stuff, but I'm just not using them yet because I'm not um, really... I really love how open-ended the gameplay is and how many options you have for staving off their attacks and everything like that. I'm actually getting a lot more into this game than I thought I would. Um, but, you know, this doesn't surprise me much because for a long time, I kind of avoided real-life horror games because... Um, the more fantastical something was, the more, like, this this doesn't look like the real world at all something is, the easier it was for me to detach, the easier it was for me to not, f not be really bothered by it. But as I've grown, I've been able to better do that, more than I, oftentimes I really notice until I try to do something like play this game. I'm not really too bothered by it. Yes, there's times where the game scares the shit out of me, but it's more like a... It, it feels more like an exhilaration thing than a bad thing. So, I'm really enjoying the game. <laughs> anyway, um... Alright, so... And I think that might be part of why a lot of people love horror games, is this sort of, like, rush of the, the scares and everything. And the, uh the survival situations. Whew. Alright, so... Yeah, let's just jump... Uh, by the way, did I still not get that item over there that I saw? I don't know. Well, I... Okay, okay. I did get whatever that was in that box. Let's see if I got that item I saw over... There. It looks like I'm gonna have to actually climb back up and I actually can't get around this. Question... Uh, what is this gate? It is a locked one. That's what it is, apparently. It won't open. It must be barred from the other side. With a little help from another person. Maybe I can climb over. Okay. Oh, so it looks like you're gonna have to backtrack when you when you get your uh, companion. When you free the girl. Okay. What are those blue symbols? Probably of whatever cult this had, that took over this place, I'm guessing. Something like that. Or, like, whatever cult they formed when they started becoming zombie people? I don't know, man. I have no idea. I see a shiny... I swear, okay, there was an item. I don't know if I already picked it up, but I want to go check the shiny out. 
same time there was an item on the ground. Regardless, these are barrels. And barrels have stuff in them. I could just check them, but I really like destroying the barrels and everything. It's satisfying. And it doesn't seem like it really affects what's in stuff. I hope not. What are the PTAs used for? Are they just a useless collectible? I would hope not, because I'm getting a lot of them. Oh yeah, duh. what am I doing checking it? Okay, it looks like I literally can't just see what items are in there by checking them. You have to break them anyway, so that's fine. I don't know why I just kind of noticed that, but... I think it's the first time I, I, I checked something after the initial point where it said it could be broken, so... I guess I did not know that beforehand. Alright, I've been up here. Uh, I just remember... I just realized I've been up here, and I've done everything. Whoops, okay. I want to use the ladder, but I guess it's gonna make me jump down instead of using it. Um, except for that... I think it confused me because there was that one tower ladder, but it was attached to the tower, so I guess that's part of it. Either way, that village seemed to have a lot of really good places to, to sort of cordon myself off, which would have helped with the zombies. So I will, or the, I'm calling them zombies, I don't know if they're quite zombies, but I think whatever virus, I think the virus that they, that was talked about in the beginning cutscene, I'm sure these people have that, I think, though I'm not sure. Anyway, um, shiny, 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 what is shiny and why is shiny? Shiny, 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 okay, yes, that stinks, but there's a shiny thing right there, why is it and what is it? Do I have to, like, do I have to, like, shoot that down, maybe, or knife it down? Like, hold on, what if, what if I did this? What if I did this? What if I, like, did this? Yes, okay. You got the dirty pearl pendant. Okay, then. I'm, yeah, if something's sparkly, you gotta do something with it. It's a collectible thing. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Notice that that was a sparkly boy. Um... Uh, I'm gonna save again. Drink my tea. And I'm gonna take a break, and next time we play, we'll keep exploring this spoopy place.